Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lizzie Morris, MUA, and today I'm going to be, as you can tell by the title, talking about being obese. And basically, my whole life of dealing with, you know, weight, uh, weight issues and being bullied, and I've had a very up and down kind of journey that I've been through for the past 13 years, give or take, about since I was like in first or second grade, is about when I became overweight and how everything just escalated from there. Um, so before I even get into the video, my wings look like total crap today. I haven't been doing wings for a long time and then I was like, you know what, I want to look a little dramatic for this video, so I'm going to do wings and then they look like crap and I just let it be and then I also tried out the princess cut Jeffree Star highlighter because I just got in the mail yesterday I think and it is super pretty I really do like it but <clears throat> so yeah this is just my story of being overweight and then obese and just basically my health journey and all that so um this might be a little long so be prepared uh, in kindergarten first yeah around the end of kindergarten or like the middle of first grade somewhere or around like that time my parents separated and uh, me and my sister were living with our dad and this is as far as my memory goes I didn't I, uh, I obviously um, if some of you know my father passed away in 2010 so I can't go back and ask him how everything was going on at the time. I, I didn't go back and ask my mom. This is just from my memory. So some things may be <clears throat> off a little because I was very young. I was like six or seven, maybe like five even at the uh, youngest. So um, my memory might be a little distorted, but this is just how I remember things. So this isn't to bash my parents. They went through a lot of things when I was younger. They had a lot of, um, you know, deep-rooted personal issues that they had to deal with themselves. So I, I don't really want to blame my parents, but this is just what I remember. So, so my parents separated and me and my sister were living with our dad. And I just remember <clears throat> because he was in, as far as I remember, was just in a deep depression and had a lot of... Um, things he didn't ever you know work out with himself as far as I remember we used to like literally eat like Tostino's pizzas all the time um, sometimes he would cook us like you know steak and stuff like that which actually by the way steak is not bad for you um, in case you guys didn't know um, that's like a whole nother subject um, but he would like cook us like green beans and stuff and I guess because I was so picky and that's another thing I was very picky um, so there's a lot of things I wouldn't eat but I just remember most of the time eating a lot of junk food. And I used to do cheerleading when my mom lived with us. I was going to a private school. Um, I felt like, you know, my family, we were doing very well. And, you know, my parents ended up separating. And that's, you know, a whole other story in itself. But, yeah, I was on the cheer team. Of course, I was young. I wasn't doing, like, backflips and everything. But I was active. Um, my mom was the cheer coach, you know. We were just very active. We were very involved in, in extra activities and stuff like that. But like I said, when my parents separated, um, my mom was living elsewhere and my dad was taking care of us and he, you know, just, you know, didn't really focus on keeping us in shape. Um, it was mainly me that gained a bunch of weight pretty fast. Um, I remember first grade, I don't remember being too big. But second grade, I switched schools, and I remember being, like, the biggest girl in my class. And I was taller than everybody, but I was always taller than kids in, um, like, elementary and then middle school. And then when high school came, everyone started growing past me. So, But in elementary school, I was, like, the tallest, and I was, like, chubby. <clears throat> and, you know, I just remember eating, like, chicken nuggets all the time. I would, eat, I would ask my dad for, like, 50 cents every single day. And I would get ice cream at lunch every day. So, <clears throat> I didn't see a problem with it because I didn't see a problem with it. I was, you know, maybe maybe eight years old. I don't remember how old I was in second grade. But, you know, I just, I just ate what I wanted to. And I, I don't remember specifically anyone saying, like, Elizabeth, like, you don't need to eat that. Like, this isn't, you know, you can't eat like this all the time. 
blah, blah, blah. Maybe people did. I just, I don't remember people saying that. Second grade, I was definitely bullied a lot. I mean, I feel like I was bullied a little bit in kindergarten and first grade, but not because of my weight. I feel like I was bullied more just because of who I was in general, not because I was fat or anything. But um, second grade, I went to a public school, and I'm not saying private, you don't get picked on. Obviously, I was in private school, I got picked on, but I remember it was my first time in public school, second grade, and I got picked on so much. Um, I, I literally, and this was my life until maybe like seventh or eighth, no, probably until like eighth grade, and I was still, I was bullied my whole life until really senior year, and even then I was bullied. And it was, like, severely bullied. Of course, I wasn't, like, beat up. There was a few times I actually got pushed around and stuff like that, which is... I'll get into that because this is probably going to be extremely long. I um, remember I had no friends. And I don't feel like I was a very annoying person. I was I was very smart in school. I always did my work. I really kept to myself as, as in a sense, like, I didn't mess with people. Um, but I did try to make friends and I remember just sitting alone and then, you know, some tables would be so full that I would just have to go sit with people that really didn't like me and it was so awkward and I just remember, you know, it was just horrible. I hated it. I just, I had the hardest time making friends because I was going, I went to a school for preschool, kindergarten first. That was a private school. Second grade, I switched to another school. Third grade, I went to a different school and then fourth, fifth, and sixth and part of seventh I was in one school and I made a few friends there but I still was bullied um, and then so that was horrible I hated that school I just remember that's when I really started gaining weight I remember I used to wear like you know sweatpants and like sweatshirts to school all the time because I, I, I don't know I mean of course I didn't dress myself but or you know I didn't pick out the clothes I was wearing but I just remember wearing stretchy shirts like I couldn't wear I didn't wear jeans often and stuff like that um, that's like my first, and I, I even remember standing on the scale. I don't know if it was in second grade, but I feel like I remember standing on the scale sometime in my life, like around that time. It might have been even up to fourth grade, but I remember standing on the scale and it was like 120. And at that age, if I'm like not mistaken, you're really, you're not supposed to be 120 um, unless you're extremely tall or something like that. Like that is like probably obese in the eyes of a doctor. Um... But as I got older, the weight, I was still overweight. I was probably even considered obese for, you know, ever. Probably since then I was considered obese, which we'll get into that in a minute. I have issues with the whole obese thing and the BMI and all that, but we'll get into that. Third grade comes around, you know, I used to wear like cotton shorts to school all the time. Got bullied there at a different school. I uh, had, I, I don't remember having like one friend. I literally don't. Um, I don't, you know, I never, in, in second and third grade, even, well, actually, any time before fourth grade, I don't remember ever spending a night with friends. I never had friends over. Um, people just, I don't know, I just always saw everyone hanging out, and then I was always alone. It was really sad, honestly, looking back at it. Fourth grade uh, comes around, I move in with some cousins, and I move in with my mother, and I made a few friends um, at that school, which I was at for um, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then like a two months of seventh grade. Um, and I ended up going back to that school to graduate, but anyway. Um, so that school, I did get bullied about my weight all the time. Um, I had two friends, all the our friendships were like really bipolar and just really ridiculous. And honestly, they didn't last. I don't talk to those people anymore. Um, I talked to them for a few years, but it just didn't last. Like I have no resentment towards them now. Um, but I still got bullied. I remember people talking about my weight. People would like trick me into giving them money. And I'm not saying like, oh, give me your lunch money. It's like people just... I don't know. I, I hated being at that school as well. Um, also, another thing I felt, you know, and, and you know, some people might say this is just an issue within myself forever, literally. And you, you can even ask, which no one probably will, but if I went and asked some of my prior classmates from like high school, they will agree with me. I have plenty of friends who are like totally like even called it out before I even said anything. Teachers always hated me, and I swear to you guys, this is another reason why I had, 
I guess I felt like it was hard for me to make friends because I felt like teachers always punished me for literally nothing. And I swear, I wish I could just go back in time and like prove it to people because I feel like people are like, you were probably bad. Like I never went to ISS. Um, I always did my work on time. I was like an A student. Like I didn't bother anybody, but I remember teachers would like just hate me for some reason. I don't know if I give off this vibe or something, but this is, I'm not saying they hated me because I was fat, but um, that's just another thing. Like I remember in fifth, fourth grade, my teacher hated me for real, but fifth grade, um, I remember some girls would just, they were allowed to do whatever ever they want and it's not that I was trying to be bad and they were like teachers pets or whatever but they were allowed to just like go up and hug the teacher and just talk to her and I swear I would do the same thing I would get in so much trouble and that like really affects a child's self self-esteem I guess you could say like you feel like just no one wants you um that's just how I felt for so so long I still even have these thoughts today um, that just I'm not wanted no matter where I go and this is not about my weight necessarily but um, so then I moved to another school in seventh grade and I stayed there and the end of tenth grade um, I got bullied there plenty of times I remember especially about my weight but I remember there was like one guy and my vision like thinking about it is like kind of blurry like I can't really remember everything but first of all, I remember someone, and I thought this only happened in the movies, and it was so ridiculous, and it's so screwed up thinking about how people treated me. And I wasn't the only one who got treated this way. There was plenty of other people who got bullied, and it was horrible. But I remember someone put a kick me sign on my back, and people were kicking me in the leg. Or it was like either on like my back or something. Like I was getting kicked because someone put a kick me sign on me. And I'm dead serious. This really happened. And I just remember getting the... the picture off my back because I didn't know anyone put it there and I was like I don't know I, th I think I went to the bathroom and just cried it's like and teachers this is another thing just about being bullied in general um teachers don't do anything um at least at the schools I went to teachers would not do a f damn thing and I know they saw it happen they'd be standing out you know in front of their doors watching this shit happen I'm dead serious and it was so horrible and that's like another thing like I said I feel like I just had no one to go to you go to the teachers they didn't care like they just they just didn't care it was horrible but people called me lame people you know did this and that I just I don't know like I was just ugly to people I was fat um, people used to make fun of the shoes I wore, like, come on, like, thinking about it now, and people will probably still laugh at it if they were the ones who made fun of me, but it's like, who gives a fuck what kind of shoes you're wearing? Like, I would wear Payless shoes, um, I would wear shoes that, like, look like Nike, but they weren't Nike, and people used to take pictures of them, and, like, post them, and make fun of me, and it's like, do you have nothing better to do with your life but to take pictures of what I'm wearing or take pictures of me and how I look and just make fun of me on social media like it's just like why like what do you get out of it like I just don't understand I really hated that school as well I used to cry all the time um and then also my father passed away while I was at that school so I was already I was dealing with that and then I remember people used to talk about my dad and um, just say ugly things about him and it was just like a horrible time um, but like I said I definitely got picked on because of my weight you know they'd say that fat girl you know why are you hanging out with that fat girl like all this stuff um, so then back to the school I was in in fourth grade to seventh grade and um, we moved back there and I was there for 11th and 12th grade so first of all in 10th grade before I moved I got with my now husband, um, Nick. We went to school together for a long time. And then we got together, and I was around maybe like 220 when we got together, maybe like 215. Um, we got together, and I remember we started going out to eat all the time, and he would like always buy me food and yada, yada, yada. So I gained probably like 15 pounds um, within the first six months of us being together. However, I kept that at the same weight for a long time. Um, I didn't really gain anything until I got the depo shot. Um, I didn't know you gained weight with the depo shot. I got that um, probably like eight months after we got together. And I gained so much. I gained like 40 pounds um, while on the depo shot. And it just, it was so hard 
to lose weight and to whatever like I bought pills that like help boost your metabolism because I would eat healthy and some people in my you know family would deny it but I remember like tracking how much I would eat on my fitness pal and like tracking my um exercise and I would go outside and exercise and I was taking like these uh weight loss pills with the with doing exercise and everything and I still just would not I just couldn't lose weight. It was like the hardest thing. I think I lost like two pounds in like two weeks, which might seem like, oh yeah, two pounds, that's still good. But no, I was very just upset with myself and I just felt like, you know, I just can't lose weight. Like it's just the hardest thing ever. And I remember that school in 11th grade, I got picked on so much for like what I would wear, for what I would look like, for my weight and everything. And I literally, I remember going into the cafeteria. I hated it so much. So eventually in like the middle of that year, I started going to the library and would just sit. I wouldn't go eat lunch. I would just sit in the library all by myself, sit on the computer, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I was really upset until I made a few friends that year. Thank God they were, they really helped me through a lot of those things. But, yeah, a lot of people were making fun of me. A lot of people treated me like crap. I remember people whispering about me. Um, they made fun of my friends. I mean, me and my group of friends really got picked on a lot um, that year. Um, then, 12th grade comes along, and one of my family members um, introduced this weight loss program to me, and I lost 60 pounds. With this weight loss program, and if I can insert before and after pictures, I will so try. If I can't insert them, like, on the screen, I will insert them at the very end of the video. So, stay, like, stay tuned for those. I'm very grateful for it. I, you know, it was, you know, a good experience. Uh, let me just vent about this, okay? So... I started, this is not a bash to any family or anyone who supported me at that time, but this is how, looking back especially, this is how I feel and this is how I felt. So when I first started losing weight, I was excited. I, you know, I felt like I was doing it for myself and I was like kicking ass. I was doing so well. And then I remember I got down to 200 pounds, you guys. And I know that still, actually, it's this is why I have an issue with BMI and everything like that, is because I was 200 pounds, and I it, I was still considered obese, which I know when you think like 200 pounds, yeah, that's a lot. But if I show you guys pictures of how I carried, the way some people carry their weight is so different than other people, and especially to do with your height and everything. Um, and you know, I I know I had a good bit of muscle because I've been working out, but. If I showed you guys the pictures, which like I said, I'll try, you're going to be like, like, I look like I was like 150, probably even less than that. Um, and honestly, when I hit 200 pounds, I was so comfortable with my body. I felt so, I felt on top of the world, not even just because I was like healthy and I could like do more things, but I felt like I looked so hot. Like I felt like I looked so good. I was so, I just love the way I look at that weight. I didn't want to lose more weight. <clears throat> I told everyone I did. I'm, just, I'm 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 owning my shit right now. I told everyone, yeah, like I'm I'm like doing it. Like I was eating healthy, but I wasn't trying to lose more weight. Like I mean, I was trying, but I wasn't giving it my all. And at that point, I just I stayed 200 for about eight nine months for sure. Um, I maintained my weight. I was doing really well. I graduated high school. I went to college. Um, my first semester, I didn't gain the freshman 15. I did awesome. I was eating healthy. But I felt, and I know the people who love and care about me didn't do this. I, I don't want people to get butt hurt over the video. I'm just saying, like, there was no intention of making me feel this way. Obviously, like, who would want to do that? Especially if they love me and they do whatever they could for me. But I felt this pressure to... I felt like I was at a good weight. I felt like I looked good. I did not want to lose more weight. Like, I felt so comfortable. And I felt this pressure from my entire family 
that I had to be smaller. And even if they're just worried about my health and not, oh, like, we think you look fat. I'm not saying they thought I look fat. Um, I know, you know, it's more of like they wanted me to be at a healthy, uh, healthy weight. Um, however, at that point, I started seeing myself. I remember it was so crazy. I told my grandma, for the longest time, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I look so good. Like, I look so skinny. I was like so happy with what I look like. And then once everyone would just ask me, and it used to bother me so much, like, hey, are like, you still losing weight? Like, are you still dieting? Like, God, like, I couldn't even touch a piece of bread. And, I, and it's deeper um, than I feel like explaining um, because what I was doing was very expensive and I had someone paying for it. So I get that. But as far as <clears throat> the way I felt, I just felt so pressured to be so like just something I didn't want to be like I did not want to be smaller than I was I felt like I looked great and I felt great I, I could run a mile in like 12 minutes which I know doesn't seem like a lot but I it, I couldn't run a mile in like 25 minutes before like I was on top of the world okay like every time I saw anybody they would just ask me or they would text me and it just like I started every time I would and I was not gaining weight at this point but every time I looked in the mirror I looked bigger like the number wasn't going up but I'm saying like my mind was like making me look bigger and I told my grandma I was like you know I never understood when smaller girls that I always thought looked so good and like so skinny I never understood like when they say they look fat and some girls do it for attention even big girls do it for attention like some people do it for attention but I told her I said I never understood like how they could look in the mirror and think they were fat but now I understand I totally get it because I remember I was I was very small especially looking back in my opinion some people might not think I was that small I think I looked fine um, but I remember looking in the mirror and seeing my old self. Like, I remember seeing the 260-pound girl at 200 pounds. Like, I remember it just, it was so crazy. Like, I just, I looked so big. And I felt like that was because I felt so pressured to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And I just, I didn't feel comfortable getting any smaller. Like, looking back, my, I was, you know, my face was very thin. And, you know, I was still considered obese, and I would have had to lose, like, 50 more pounds to be at, like, a semi-normal weight. And I just didn't feel comfortable with that. And then you have to also think I've been overweight my entire life. I've never seen myself skinny, in a sense. So, even if all the doctors in the world told me, okay, no, you're still obese, like, I still felt fine. It's about what you think. So fast forward a few months, it's January of 2016. I um, got on the IUD, the Marina IUD. Now, I know the Marina IUD is not known for making people gain weight. I don't wanna necessarily blame the IUD, but every time I get on hormonal, hormonal birth control, I gain weight. Like, it doesn't matter what point I am in my life because I was still very active at, um, at that time. Um, I was still working out. I was still eating extremely healthy. I didn't start eating, I guess you could say, like, poorly until maybe, like, May. Um, which does result, it did result in me gaining most of the weight. But I'm just saying, I felt like when I get hormonal birth control, and this could just be in my mind, I don't know. I just feel like I just crave food and, like... You know, I, I try to control them as much as I could at the time, but then I just start gaining weight. My metabolism, my metabolism slows down, all these things. I was taking an aerobics class twice a week, and then I was working, and, you know, I was going to school. I was doing this and that, and like I said, the pressure just kept building up, kept building up. I just felt this huge pressure um, just to be something I didn't want to be. So, May comes around something happened and I'm not going to go too deep into it but I felt like I had I started getting this feeling that a lot of and I'm not saying this is how my family felt but this is how I felt I don't really care how my family 
thinks they acted. This is how I felt. I don't really care. Um, there was a point where I felt like people really, and, and, you know, I feel like some people would be like, oh, well, that's because you were insecure about your weight. And I don't feel that at all. But I felt like once I started gaining weight, I could notice a visible difference in how my family was treating me when I gained like 20 pounds. Because even my sister noticed and, you know, my husband, now husband noticed when we went on a family trip, how people were treating me. And at that point, I did start steadily gaining weight. Um, I can gain weight really fast. Like, I know some people be like, 15 pounds in a year, that's like so much. But I gain like... I can, get like, uh, I can get like 200 pounds in a year. Like, it wouldn't be a big deal. I mean, it's a big deal, but it just, it's not abnormal for me to eat, to be, um, to gain weight easy. It's very, just, it's easy for me to gain weight. Um, so, me and my husband got an apartment together. We were dating at the time. We were engaged. Um, and I didn't have anyone, you know, holding me accountable. So, I did start eating very poor. Um, and I just started gaining weight. I didn't go back to school in August. This is like 2016. Um, I was going to go back to school and I didn't. So then I started, um, getting into makeup. Not, I didn't feel ugly being, gaining weight. Like that's, that's something I, when I was a child I did, but after being thin, the, as thin as I was, when I started gaining weight, I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, like, I'm just so ugly because I'm so fat. Like, when I was younger, yeah, I felt that way. But this time around, like, I do not feel ugly. Like, I, once I discovered makeup, I started loving myself. I am more confident now than I've ever been in my entire life. Um, you know, I, like I said, I started gaining weight, uh, when me and my husband moved in together, like, got our own apartment, and, you know, at this point... You know I'm the biggest I've ever been in my life um, but I'm not ashamed of how I look I'm not ashamed of you know what kind of path I've went down um, I feel like and I don't know I just feel like my relationship with a lot of people has changed since I gained weight I have come to a point in my life where I'm not doing anything for anyone but myself or maybe like my husband or my mom or someone it just depends on the situation but I you know I felt like at the point where I was 200 pounds I was if I were to lose any more weight it would be for everyone else it was not gonna be for me that's how I was feeling um, and I didn't want to be that way and then the same with anything else that's going on in my life I'm telling you makeup once I discovered makeup and once I gained my weight back I realized so much like it's crazy like I do want to lose weight again um, because I know being at this weight I am now and being the size I am is definitely not healthy um, but if I'm doing something it's for me I'm not losing weight for the for my family I'm not losing weight for society I'm not losing weight for my friends I'm not losing weight for my husband I'm losing weight for Elizabeth Angel Morris, that is the only person I will lose weight for. That is the only person that I will do anything for in order to make my life happy. I'm not going back to college ever again. And, you know, I was go I was planning on it and I was only doing it because I know that everyone wanted me to. And, but I don't want to. So I'm at a point, I will not do, a, I will not do anything, you know, that involves my happiness just you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna sacrifice my happiness to make other people happy I'm not going to go to college just to make my family happy or society so society looks at me like I'm you know a better person or anything like that I refuse and you know I don't know this was more of like just a rant about my story being obese and basically my entire life and you know dealing with all these problems um but i just want to say you know one other thing is that you know and i know this this whole story time was kind of like everywhere and it wasn't really put together very well but i will say that love i i want everyone to love themselves okay I, you know, I love myself more now as a size 22 than I did at a size 14. So, because I am doing what I love and I'm doing what makes me happy in life. And like I said, I do want to lose weight and I've actually already lost 12 pounds doing a ketogenic diet, which 
make a whole whole video about that in the future um, but you know I am taking the steps to make my life healthier and to prolong my life but I am not doing it for anyone else but myself and I do love my body but and I'm not saying it's like healthy to be this big it's not it's not healthy um, there's a lot of health issues that could be coming my way if I don't get my shit together however I love myself I do not hate my stretch marks. I do not hate my big stomach. I do not hate my size 22 pair of jeans. I do not hate my double chin. Like, I don't hate myself anymore. And I used to hate the way I looked. And I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel like makeup has really just made me so happy that being this size you know make it I don't know how to even describe it but literally I, I feel like people don't take my passion seriously because I don't know makeup is just giving me this confidence boost that I never knew I could have and it's literally like it just doesn't make me look at myself like I'm ugly anymore I, I you know I feel so confident I feel beautiful I feel like I'm worthy now I'd never, I didn't feel worthy before. I didn't feel beautiful. Even if I would act like I thought I was, I didn't feel that way. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just blabbing on now, but I just want you to love yourself. If you're a hundred pounds, love yourself. If you're 500 pounds, love yourself. Um, just love yourself. Do uh, the whole point of this is me be becoming this large again has opened my eyes so much I don't even know how and why and like what clicked in my head but love please love yourself everybody love yourself whether like I said whether you're 15 a size 15 a size 20 a size 30 a size 2 love yourself love everything about you and it's okay if you want to work on yourself just because you want to lose weight doesn't mean you hate yourself doesn't mean you need to hate yourself just because there's some people who want to gain weight just because you want to gain weight or you need or your doctor says you need to gain weight doesn't mean that you're ugly and doesn't mean that you're not worthy just because you want to lose weight or people tell you to lose weight doesn't mean you're not worthy you are worthy of everything this world has to offer you no matter what size you are no matter what you look like no matter what skin color you are no matter what you identify as this is just my story you know I've dealt with being bullied and dealing with being obese my whole life. People have dealt with, you know, people getting, you know, people being bullying them on their sexuality, on their gender, on their race. This is my story. Feel free to leave your story in the comments below. I'll be reading them. If you don't feel comfortable, it's fine. Um, but I just had a, I just had a vent about this and a vent about my story, my life, my name's Lizzie, this is my story, and my story's still changing, like, I don't know what the future holds, um, but yeah, guys, um, I guess that's it for this video, I know I got kind of deep, and even if, I know my story time was, like, kind of everywhere, and I'm sorry, I had it all put together in my head, and then when I got on in front of the camera, I'm just like, uh, my brain's just everywhere, guys. So that's it for this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Um, like I said, if you have any kind of story you want to vent to me about below, you know, comment below. I'll be reading them. If you don't, that's fine. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.